Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Tom and Joanne. I'm Tom Matthews. And I'm Joanne Toronto. Today we wanted to talk about a little thing that Tom and I do week to week that helps keep us organized and informed and reminds us of things that have happened. So each Tuesday morning, we sit down and have a meeting where we go through our business affairs, each of our transactions, and we make notes. And mm -hmm. so every week we have meeting minutes. And the reasons that we do these meeting minutes are, they vary. So Tom, what's one of the most important reasons why we do meeting minutes between us? You know, Joanne, it's um, to give us perspective because the real estate business is not like a normal business where it's busy all the time. There's like these roller coasters and you can have times when you're really slow. Like, you know, we've been in business now 18 years together, but there's that time of year, every year where we're like, oh my God, are we going out of business? <laughs> so I like to, you know, we have meeting minutes now going back to 2016. <clears throat> so, you know, that, that moment typically happens sometime around January, you know, mid January. So mid January, we'll go back and look at our notes. And it's funny because I look at notes from like 2018 and the notes say, just a reminder when you're not going out of business. <laughs> <laughs> and just, you know, you know, putting down, just like giving yourself some perspective and some levity because then, you know, August hits and we have like 20 properties on the contract in August. And just, you know, so that's probably one of the things that for me is, is the most, but, you know, the business coach and we, you know, this was introduced to us by the course. So you got to give credit where credit is due. They are a coaching organization out of, uh, I think, South Carolina or something like that. And they said, you know, the most important thing you should do as a team is look at the budget. You know, look at your budget every week and track the money in your bank account and your credit card. You know, right. that's how it started, right? Was just looking at the money. And then yep. we just started, Joanne and I would start figuring out, like, what are important topics we need to be kind of memorializing every week? You know, and so after we do the mini mini minutes, you know, one of our big things is trying to grow our presence in Concord. Mm -hmm. So we write down Concord activities, right, Joanne? Yeah, um, and then we also track referrals that we give, yes. so that we can make sure that we're following up mm -hmm. on each referral that we give. So um, whether somebody's called us for, you know somebody, they need somebody to paint their house, or if somebody needed a home inspector, we try to uh, keep track of all of those referrals so that we can make sure that we solidify them and keep, and keep up with them so that everybody gets the best experience. The one thing that I think I value the most about our meeting minutes is just having a look at what our impressions were. So usually each week there's like a statement, it might be a sentence or two sentences that just talk about how we feel about real estate that given moment. Yeah. And those are really important because yeah. sometimes we want to go back and be like, when was the surge of houses that came on the market in 2018? You know, we can go back into our meeting minutes, uh, you know, for let's say May, for example, 2018, and we can get our impressions of what is happening in the market. And those impressions are so important because it gives you the perspective based on what's happening, you know, in the current time. So meeting minutes have given us a lot of purpose, tracking obviously our, our important statistics, our finances, but also our impressions. And impressions, impressions yep. and for perspective are everything for us because it gives us an opportunity to reminisce about things that we don't have to try and remember that we've documented. Yeah. And we also track, you know, whether you're, you know, a client who's thinking about hiring us or like finding out how organized we are or an agent trying to like elevate your business. You know, other things we track are, you know, what are the marketing efforts that we've done in the past week, both yep. for clients and for ourselves, okay. you know, and have we updated our top producer? Are we putting in all of our client management and, you know, we also have on our meeting minutes, like the first Tuesday of every month, take 15 minutes to revisit the business plan for the year, you yep. know, because so many, all right, not so many, some brokers write a business plan. <sighs> Most of them throw that business plan into a drawer and never look at it for the rest of the year. And so it's really critical that if you are going to write a business plan, that you revisit it and right. you work on it and that it becomes a living, breathing piece of your business rather than just a paperweight. So you have to kind of remind yourself 
because uh, life gets busy. It's easy to fall off of track and so forth. So that's a big part, you know. Yep. Accountability is everything. And, yeah. you know, your, your business plan is a living document, so it can be changed. Yes. And if you find that you need to add things or subtract things, then you do it as you, you do it as you go along. But the important thing is that you have a roadmap for the year right. and you continue to look at that roadmap to keep yourself on, on target. Yeah. And so. I think meeting minutes too, just, you know, for, as like a, as a FYI for anyone watching this, I mean, if you're just an individual agent, I just think meeting minutes are great for anybody. Even if you're just an individual agent, you're just going through your own book of business and you're just keeping notes for yourself. So again, you can have some reference points and understand where your business is like journaling. You know, it's always recommended a journal just so you can have something to look back on in your life. And it's the same thing with your business. If you're running the real estate practice like a business, it's your own little business. And it's a great way to stay organized and focused. Right. Well, we appreciate you joining us for another edition of Coffee with Tom and Joanne. I'm Joanne Toronto. And I'm Tom Matthews. Cheers. Cheers.